They're tough waters to sail, ye mateys. But I'm here because I'm Captain Vandal. Welcome to the 365 Log. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, people. Today is October 17, 2016, day 292 of the 365 Log. And I shouldn't be this energetic because... Not everything's the greatest. Life isn't the greatest right now. Still not in grad school, not working. So I'm feeling a bit down. But instead of complaining in this video, one of the things maybe I'll talk through, maybe I'll find it in myself towards the end is how to stay motivated when times are down. And maybe it'll help you too. So I think one of the things that people get stuck in a rut in is definitely when you start to feel down, everything else starts to seem worse and worse. And it affects everything in your life, your relationships, how you feel about your day, what you're doing, what you love doing, you stop doing all of that and you kind of just sit and become like a sad sack. I think one of the things that is okay definitely to do is definitely feel bad like it's okay to feel bad or feel down we all have emotions and we can't all be happy all the time we definitely have like times and periods where everything ebbs and flows so there will definitely be times when you are down and it is okay to be down i think one of the things that you can do or probably should do is not stay down you should try and find something to like get yourself at least in the mood or something that'll bring your spirits up again Time and time again, anytime I feel really down, one of the things that I do, which sometimes happens by accident or sometimes happens on purpose, is when I draw. Drawing is one of the few things that really gets just my mood really focused on something else. It gets me really happy. It's just like, for some reason, pen to paper it just speaks to me. Maybe I was an artist in another life or it just really connects with me on some other level that I really don't understand, but it really gets me at least feeling like I'm doing something or just at least that really happy fuzzy feeling art isn't your thing maybe sports is one of the other things that I do love doing is DDR one of the things like if I'm really upset or angry or sad definitely going to play like a game of DDR will really get my mind off of it because I don't really have time to be upset thinking about all those arrows coming at speeds that are maybe incomprehensible to the normal person but definitely doing like maybe a sport may get your mind busy or thinking or maybe inspired in some other way message with that is just basically do something make sure that you're doing something to keep you busy because an idle mind just creates idle thoughts which creates idle negativity which builds on each other which just basically brings you down to a level of sadness that I don't even know if I've reached yet but I know definitely people have so definitely keeping yourself busy is very good I think also endurance slash patience is one of the things like even though you may think like especially me myself that your condition or something wrong that has been keeping you down has been persisting longer than you would like and you think it'll last forever eventually all things must come to an end that is like a proverb of life or maybe a circumstance of life I'm not sure but it's one of the things that will eventually just happen it will end and you won't have to feel this feeling eventually so that is why you use the first step to make sure you can endure the hard times but doing stuff that you love isn't also the only thing that will get you through the hard times now depending on who you are or how you are or who you tend to hang around with having people that support you or someone that you can talk to about like a lot of the problems that you're having may help you depending on how you take it maybe you're someone who wants to be alone but sometimes I think maybe even in that case, try and break out of your shell and talk to someone because definitely keeping all of the thoughts and worries in your head just only keep them in your world and they don't give, they don't allow other outside thoughts to come in or maybe other opinions or vantage points of seeing the same problem that you may have and how maybe you may be able to look at it differently if you have someone else to talk to. The last thing I would say maybe as like a finish up to this whole talk topic is that maybe you should just appreciate what is going good in your life because often more often than not people focus on like what's negative or what's not working rather than things that are working and try and find the most littlest things like the fact that you get to wake up every day and you're not dead I don't know or you get to at least go somewhere where you're able to work even if you hate your co-workers try and be optimistic as much as possible and have someone to be optimistic with you and if you can't just try and find it in yourself and try and use some of the other techniques that I talked about earlier in the video this is to myself and this is to you but these are just some things that I think are really important because it's really easy to get stuck in a rut and stuck in your own mind so these are just some tips that I think may help you get out of the place in your mind that 
reiterates these bad thoughts or negative emotions. Guys, that's pretty much all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed my little uplifting session. And if you did, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe for more. So tell me guys, did any of these topics help? Did I miss any? Do you want to add any? Put them in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Yeah guys, I'm Vandal, don't forget to keep it 365 and I'll talk to you next time with another video. Peace, boy. That rule is, is that someone must die for the main character or for the protagonist or whomever to become stronger. If there is no death in your comic, your character will never grow. Look at Peter Parker.